Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has a message for refugees rejected by Donald Trump's immigration ban. Canada will take you. Hey friends, this is IO, a proudly Canadian channel. My name is Charlotte. For those who are unaware, Trump signed an executive order to stop radical Islamic terrorists from entering the US. It included a 90 day ban from people trying to enter the US from the following countries Iraq, Syria, Sudan, Libya, Somalia, and Yemen. In response to the ban, Trudeau tweeted on Saturday To those fleeing persecution, terror, Terror and war, Canadians will welcome you, regardless of your faith. Diversity is our strength. Hashtag welcome to Canada. Trudeau is set to visit the White House soon and he intends to talk to Trump about the success of Canada's refugee policy. After Trudeau was elected, he oversaw the arrival of over 39,000 Syrian refugees. Until now, Trudeau has refrained from criticizing the new US president to avoid offending him. Canada relies on the US for exports. More than 75% of all Canadian exports go to the US. However, the Syrian the Syrian refugee crisis was a major problem for Canada's election in 2015 after an image of a 3 year old Syrian boy washing up on a beach went viral. The boy had relatives in Canada. Trump's executive order singled out Syrian refugees, making it illegal for everyone coming out of Syria fleeing persecution to enter the United States. All of this came before the recent terror attack at a mosque in Quebec City. Two men were arrested after a deadly shooting that killed six men during evening prayers at the Islamic Cultural Center of Quebec. Trudeau was quick to condemn the hateful act as a terror attack against Muslims. Police say it's too early to know the motive. Trudeau released a statement regarding the attack and said Muslim Canadians are an important part of our national fabric and those senseless acts have no place in our communities, cities and country. Donald Trump called Justin Trudeau to offer his condolences and support. Alright guys, I will now respond to some comments about this topic. Ellie Duro said, he can't do this, it's unconstitutional, Congress has to stop him. Some judges have blocked the ban but honestly the damage is pretty much done. Facebook said, now he has banned Muslims, this means refugees for other countries. Yes it does. And if there is the odd terrorist in the mix, then those countries will have to deal with that. I can understand people wanting to prevent these terrorist attacks, but these people are fleeing horrible circumstances. There should be exceptions. Hillary Trump said, what are your opinions on Jolly Ranchers? I enjoy the red ones, but they are all quite delicious. Although, sometimes I find myself choking on them, which deters me from eating them. Has anybody else ever choked on a Jolly Rancher? They just kind of slide down there and you're just like oh, oh, and then it's all back up in your mouth and you're just like mmm flavorful. <laughs> okay, that's all for now. Thanks for watching IO and I'll see you in another video.